Liverpool are chasing Arthur's teammate. After Jordan Henderson suffered a hamstring injury after his win over Newcastle United on 31 August, Liverpool struggled to sign a midfielder ahead of the transfer deadline. They eventually made a deal with Arthur, who was on loan for the season, with the option of a permanent deal. However, based on some revelations this week, they could have signed one of the Brazilians' Juventus teammates. Denis Zakaria, who moved from Bayern Canary to Chelsea after only half a season in Turin, says he heard from his manager that Liverpool are interested in signing him. Zakaria, like Arthur, will go to the Premier League on an effective trial basis and will try to persuade Chelsea to use their long-term buyout options. But can moving to Anfield in the future be completely ignored? If Liverpool decides they don't want to pay £32 million for Arthur at the end of the season and Chelsea turn down Zakaria's opportunity, the Reds could make a move for him. A different transfer story could have emerged if they had been interested a few weeks ago. Positionally, Arthur and Zakaria are quite similar. Both split their minutes between the defensive midfielder and central midfielder roles. Zakaria played 158 times as a defensive midfielder and 57 times as a central midfielder. He could replace Arthur in the Liverpool squad, providing protection and competition to Fabinho as a defensive midfielder and Thiago on the left. However, while their positional profiles are similar, Zakaria, valued at just over £24 million by Transfermarkt, will not be a comparable alternative to Arthur. Smarter Scout scored the two players on different metrics, and it turned out that there were significant differences between them. Zakaria's data comes from the first half of the 2021-2022 season at Borussia Mönchengladbach, while Arthur's data comes from Juventus. The biggest difference is that the Swiss beat the Brazilian by 68 points in terms of shot volume. But on the other side of the ball, Arthur has a 45-point lead for breaking opponent moves and 40 points for tackles and tackles. Arthur also has a 16-point lead in connection play volume and 25 in receptions in the opposing box. But Zakaria runs with the ball much more often and seems to excel creatively as well. He also makes up for his previous lack of defense by outpacing his opponent for defensive intensity and surprisingly, he's also besting him on ball handling, given the comparisons between Arthur and Thiago. Some might argue that this illustrates the messy nature of Liverpool's impetuous search for a midfielder, with a competent body being prioritized above all else. But to look forward instead, Jurgen Klopp has an interesting take on what he wants from the defensive midfielder and left wing number 8. If Arthur doesn't fit her vision, an actress like Zakaria could represent a stylistic change. The biggest reason Liverpool have been able to keep hope of signing the 25-year-old is the change of management at Chelsea. Zakaria joined while Thomas Tuchel was in office, but the German teacher was dismissed. It's not yet clear if Zakaria is the kind of player Potter wants and whether she fits into the system the former Brighton boss wants. Either way, He's likely to have a lot of games this season as Chelsea compete on four fronts and struggle with significant fixture congestion. Therefore, Liverpool will be able to follow and keep Zakaria more in sight. The option to sign him could return to the table in the middle of an anticipated midfield replenishment at Anfield next summer. Borussia Dortmund want a Liverpool midfielder to replace Jude Bellingham. Borussia Dortmund are reportedly starting to form a team without Jude Bellingham. While this is acceptable, the interesting thing is that they want to fill his void with Liverpool midfielder Naby Keita. Dortmund manager Edin Terzic currently has a number of options in the middle of the pitch. Emre Can, Sole Oskan, Mahmoud Dehoud, Giovanni Reina and Bellingham are fighting for the Dortmund jersey. British starlet Bellingham is one of the first names on the roster to start seven Bundesliga games this season. However, interest in the 19-year-old player is increasing day by day and Dortmund will have a hard time keeping him in 2023. According to recent reports, it has been claimed that Dortmund may be ready to accept an offer of around £83 million, provided the fee is paid in advance. The German club is already looking for a replacement and the name that comes up is Cater, whose future is uncertain at Liverpool. According to the latest reports, Dortmund are monitoring Cater's contract status and are preparing to make a move for the player. The Bundesliga club is allegedly hot to Cater. 
Cater's contract expires next June, and Dortmund are looking to seize the opportunity for the player to be transferred for free at the beginning of 2023 to 2024. Contract negotiations between Cater and Liverpool have been going on since the beginning of the year. Fabrizio Romano said negotiations were still ongoing, but there was a lot of interest around. No official offer has been made for the 27-year-old, but it's understandable given his contract status. But the longer his condition persists before contract renewal, the greater the interest in him is likely to be. Liverpool do not want to lose the Guinean star for free. The £52.75 million player in 2018 has yet to play this season. And he made just 14 Premier League starts last season. Cater may be looking for a new home and a team that will guarantee him first-team football. He is also no stranger to the Bundesliga, scoring 14 goals in 58 games for Leipzig. Liverpool supported Marco Asensio's transfer as Real Madrid plan was revealed. A boost is said to have been given as Liverpool are reportedly following Marco Asensio. The Reds were linked to the Real Madrid forward throughout the summer, but no moves materialised. Asensio's current contract will expire at the end of the season and there are no signs of extension at this time. According to reports earlier this month, it's almost certain that Asensio will be able to sign a new club for free. Moreover, three possible destinations for next summer were also claimed. In the reports, it is stated that besides Liverpool, Milan and Arsenal are among the clubs that Asensio can sign. According to new news from Spain, Real Madrid is already planning to live without Asensio at the club. This indicates that the player will leave the Santiago Bernabeu on a free transfer at the end of the season. It was stated that Real was not worried about the possibility of losing Asensio for free and replaced him with a new one. Brahim Diaz, who left Manchester City to move to the Spanish capital in 2019, is currently on loan in Milan and is seen as a long-term Asensio backup. Asensio recently touched on his future amid his ties to Liverpool and admitted that agreeing to move to a club for free from January is a possibility for him. From January I can sign any club and it's normal for a lot of rumours to come up. I've had a lot of messages from my friends. We'll see what happens, you never know in the football world. I don't know what will happen, Asensio said last week. From a Liverpool point of view, it is clear that Mohamed Salah is needed as a backup. Harvey Elliott was thinking for that area, but in this year's midfield crisis, Klopp sent him from the middle of the park. Asensio could be a right-wing alternative. However, there is an important criterion here. Time taken by the Spanish player. Asensio is unhappy with not getting enough time at Real Madrid and therefore wants to leave. He will definitely want a guarantee of extra time on his next team. Considering that Salah starts every game without injury, such a move doesn't seem quite right. But if Klopp can convince him that he can use it on time or in a different zone, we might watch a different game.